Hello, my name is Jean Maguley and this is the first one of a series of videos I want to do showing my process of drawing and painting some creatures. As you can see, if you know if you already know my my stuff or if you take a look at my website and or my portfolio in Facebook or anywhere else you will see that I'm just more focused in character design for animation and in caricatures but I really want to move out of my comfort zone and try to make some creator designs uh, like for some concept art for video games or something like that well this is the the first that I record and I want to show you my my drawing process as you can see this is some kind of uh, mutant lobster or something like that and when I start uh, when I make the first sketch I just focus on the big main shapes I try to do a nice and interesting silhouette for the character I, I think if you if uh, sorry if, if I feel the wall character in black uh, will the um, the silhouette still being nice and still being strong and still you will still recognize the um, the creature so keep that in mind when you make your your drawings it's the same when you make a character design it's the same process just focus on the mind shapes in the first steps thing in the silhouette try to make a nice and strong silhouette and and then add some details you know that uh, I will make that in another video. Some some people start with just doing that, doing uh, the shape, painting in black, uh, doing the the wall shape, and and then they start adding details. I work with uh, with uh, Sketchbook, Autodesk, Sketchbook Pro. For me, it's the the best. Uh, drawing software and I work with a uh, Wacom Cintiq uh, I don't know it's Cintiq is uh, how it's pronounced in English sorry because you know I'm from Spain but uh, uh, here I try to add a mouth but I really don't like it so uh, even when I make my most of my drawings are made digitally I have a good basis uh, a good base of traditional with traditional medium is really important even with you work digitally keep always a good base of uh, traditional drawing okay work with pen and paper or pencil and paper or or pencil and, and wood <laughs> I really don't care but because that will make you gain confidence in your drawing because you know when you work digitally you always can make some adjustments and fix things here and there and maybe that will make you lose some confidence in your drawing because knowing that you can uh, fix the mistakes uh, maybe will make you lose some confidence so keep a good base make some practice with traditional medium okay so here I just add some background for this character. Um, backgrounds are one of my my weakest points, so I, I will also try to fix that to to get better doing backgrounds. And here we go; it's almost finished. Here I will make a, a small adjustment in the eyes because. I was not happy with those th those that you have here are like more expressive okay and I'm more in my style I only really want my characters to be really expressive so here is the final version of my creature all right and well thanks for watching I hope to see you around in the next video thanks take care